What's up, YouTube? I'm Trent Weldon. Welcome back to my channel, Weldon Aquatics. Tonight, I want to get into the conversation of one of the newest filters in the U.S. market and give my opinion on it. So the filter that I am talking about is the new Zis Bubble Biofilter. That's right. This is only available in the U.S. market right now from Aquarium Co-op. And I have to say that I really appreciate that Corey is being inventive, finding new ways to promote this hobby, bringing me new product that I get to personally try. This is not a sponsored video, but when I say personally try, it means I get to spend my money to try something new and geek out in my hobby even more. I love it. So guys, there's been so much craze over the internet right now about this filter. And the main reason being is that everybody says a small fluidized media filter cannot handle a tank on its own. I agree and I also disagree. I want to give my opinion of why. I think... The reason we all say it can't handle a tank on its own is because that's what we've always just kind of agreed upon. It's always been said of, oh, if you DIY, DIY a version with the K1 this, which is the original fluidized media, it's too, you need, you need way too much to make it work for a, a pop bottle. It's not going to work. You need large amounts. Okay, but now let's talk about this filter and maybe what we can pair it with. Let's say we pair it with the sponge filter, pair it with the hang on the back filter. And you know, I think we've got a great combination for filtering a tank. Now before we go any farther, I think I need to explain what a fluidized media filter actually is. So we know, what is a filter? You know, we talk about like a hang on the back filter and everyone says, well, you need a filter for your aquarium. Okay, what is a filter? It's a motor or a box that's propelling water over a choice of our media. That's all a filter is, it just holds a biological media that's going to allow beneficial bacteria to populate that and their food source is going to be the ammonia that fish produce. So now with a fluidized filter, all that we're doing is we're running air through the filter so that all the media inside of it's gonna bump into each other really fast and knock off all the old bacteria, any dead bacteria, allowing for new, stronger bacteria to populate that media. It's actually been said that a fluidized filter actually promotes some of the strongest biological media because of the constant motion. Now let's unbox this, so I've been actually waiting. I've had, let's see, I had two of them running on my 40 gallons, and I've been waiting to unbox this one for this video so I can get it installed on the 125, just to add a little bit of extra biological filtration. So this is the initial packaging. So this is made in Korea. So it's, I think it's, you know, I think it's really promoted very well. It's not a China product, nothing is Chinese. I don't know where I'm going with this, but it's made in Korea. I think the build quality is done well. And right now it is available from the Korean Co-op at $30 per filter, which you know, for what we're getting, I think is a very fair price. So the first thing we have are the suction cups, and I love that they include an air valve. That is gonna come in handy later, and I'll explain why. They even include a length of silicone air hose. So if you need to, you don't wanna cut into your already previously established airline, they include that for you. So straight out of the box, this is what the initial filter is going to look like. Now this filter is about 10 inches tall, so it's not going to work very well on, let's say, like a 20 long aquarium, a 10 gallon. And the reason being, and this is one reason why I love this filter, is check this out. Super, super easy to get into. They included a pre-filter sponge. Check that out. What company includes, includes a pre-filter sponge with their filter? Not many. So already we're gonna get beneficial bacteria growing on this. We're gonna get some mechanical filtration done with this. And the reason being is that this is on the bottom of the filter. You're not gonna get the clearance you need in like a 20 long or a 10 gallon because this will be so close to the bottom. So 
So I really think this will work well for let's say like a 20 gallon, a 29 gallon, and, um, you know, a 40 gallon. And manufacturer rates this to be able to handle the bio load of a properly stocked 40 gallon aquarium. Now, if we take some guidelines, we're gonna cut that in half so we can say this may run a 20 gallon aquarium without any issue. I'm not tired, I am running them on my 40s, but I'm not running them solo. But we'll talk about that here in a minute. I wanna to continue to talk about the build quality. This plastic is rough, it's tough, it's well done. I think it's gonna last a very long time. What I also like about this is it's not overly ugly. We know if we're gonna actually include this in our tank, I don't want an eyesore in my tank. I want something that's gonna be well attractive. But also there's a reason they went with green plastic. Algae growth. Algae growth is going to happen no matter what we do, but when light can't penetrate it as well as I say a clear plastic, you're not gonna get as much. And if you do, it's gonna blend in a little better. So overall, I'm really impressed with this build quality. I really am impressed with this build quality. The way that I can access that pre-filter sponge, super easy. And if you want a more coarse material, you can buy your own sponge, cut it to size, and you know, restock it. Now you can access the media through the top. This is really difficult to get off. It's, it's not meant to come off because they want the media to stay in the chamber. So you can hear it. That is the fluidized media in this filter. Now it's a Z, they call it like Z1 media. I, ha I was trying to do some research on it to see if I could figure out exactly you know, what they promote as the you know, surface area of it and all that nature. But I, I'm impressed with it. So what's gonna happen is you pump air into this. This is gonna start to move that media. You don't want it boiling and going crazy, but just a steady motion and that's gonna filter your aquarium. Now, the next thing that I am absolutely in love with this filter, and this may seem a little cheesy, these suction cups are impossible to get off once mounted to a glass aquarium. All right, now maybe impossible, really difficult. Now that means wherever you put this, it's gonna stay put. I hate suction cups on 99% of aquarium products because they don't work. These suction cups work amazingly well. I love it, I think this is great. This is a very well thought out filter. I'm very impressed with it so far. I think the build, like I said, the build quality is good. The suction cups are good. Very, very simple to use. And you can adjust the airflow through it too. So it's either gonna, you know, the air coming out of it, you can make it quieter, you can lessen it. Guys, I really, I highly recommend these Zist Bio filters. And right now, aquarium cops, you only can get them from the United States. So if you're looking for a new filter, check this out. Now let's talk why I think that you can make a great pairing out of this. So we know that manufacturers say that this filter will run a 40 gallon aquarium. Okay, we got a small pre-filter sponge. Now let's say we took this filter with this pre-filter sponge and included a sponge filter in the aquarium. Now you've got mechanical filtration going through the sponge filter and biological filtration going through this. You know, the argument of this can't handle a 40 gallon aquarium but yet a sponge filter can, is kind of odd to me. So why not pair them together and you've got a great combination of filtration. This will promote excellent biological filtration. The sponge filter is gonna promote great mechanical filtration as well as biological filtration. Now, the sponge filter you'll have to clean occasionally. This you do not have to clean. The only thing that you have to physically clean is the intake sponge. Because this media is tumbling inside the canister here and bumping into each other, they call it a self-cleaning media. Extremely low maintenance filter, excellent biological properties. I'm, I'm impressed, I really am impressed that a company finally produced a fluidized biofilter that fits inside your tank and it's a well-built filter. So that's my opinion on this. I think if you pair this with a sponge filter in your aquarium, it works wonders. And I've done a little bit of experimentation, I wanna to continue to do more. You know, I run my fish tanks off a large central air pump. I really wanna know what this would do if you run it off like a whisper, a Tetra Whisper 10 air pump. You know, a small hobby is let's say you have one tank. 
I think that one of those pumps will do this justice, making it very applicable to everyone in this hobby. We just need to properly teach them and help them understand what a fluidized filter does and why it can be so beneficial for your aquarium. So I encourage you to check this out. I'm gonna keep running these in my tanks, maybe a month or two months down the road here. I'll give you a more updated opinion on them as I actually have ran them. So like I said, this one's gonna get installed in the Fajaka puffer tank behind me to do some testing there. I already have two of them running in both my 40 breeders. And so far, I'm very, very pleased with these filters. I think for $30, you cannot go wrong with the new Zis Biofilter Media. So I wanted to give you a quick shot of this filter in action. As you can see, I have the air pumping into it, and you can see that the, the filter media is going in the circular motion. Now because of that motion, the bio media is bumping into each other constantly, knocking off old bacteria, promoting new bacteria growth, and really self-cleaning. And I can tell that, that sponge filter has picked up some debris, but I think it's working out very well for this tank. And this is my flower horn tank. He's a heavy eater. He's a high waste producer. And I'm very impressed. The tank is clear. I don't have any free floating particles. Now I also, like I say, I have it paired with the sponge filter. So I think this combination is one of the best on the market right now. And I'm really excited to continue to test this filter even further.